Good morning, kiddos. Miss Aura here. Today is April 14. This video is for my fifth graders. We are going to go ahead and work on our vocabulary development. Let's go ahead and get started. So about three weeks ago, we read this article and I chose words for you to add to your vocabulary bank. Okay, and about two weeks ago, we read this article. And again, I chose just three words to add to our vocabulary bank. And now we're going to go ahead and rank our knowledge of both the old words and the new words. Remember, um, when you rank your knowledge, you go through four stages. Stage one, you've never seen the word before, which is for, in our case, you shouldn't be at stage one because you've seen all the words already. The, the words are in the text that we've read. Stage two is you've heard it, you've heard the word, but you don't quite know what it means. Stage three, you recognize it when you read it from a passage or when you hear someone use it in a sentence. You kind of know it has to do with something, but you don't have a working definition for it yet. Stage four is you know the word very well. You can define it and you can use it in a sentence independently. So I'd like for you to rank your knowledge for each of the word I will show you. So one, two, three, or four. How well do you know the word disabilities? How well do you know the word equipment? How well do you know the word compete? How well do you know the word prosthetic? Aided, various, assisted. How about the word Navigate. How well do you know the word paralyze? How well do you know the word depend? How about experts? Sensors? Festival? Pastry? And tradition? The last three words are the new words from our recent passage. So I'm going to teach you those three words, but before that, we're going to review the previous vocabulary words. So let's go ahead and get started. What word goes with a medical condition, restrictions, or difficulties? Right? If you said disabilities, you're correct. How about necessary items, transportation, materials, and gear? If you said equipment, you are correct. What word goes with gain, contest, be better than? If you said compete, you are correct. What word goes with replacement body part, artificial body part? If you said prosthetic, you are correct. What word goes with helped, assisted, sponsored, given support? If you said aided, you are correct. What word goes with different kinds, several types, assorted? If you said Various, you are correct. Which word goes with find a route, figure out a path, map? If you said navigate, you are correct. What word goes with unable to move, frozen, or still? If you said Paralyze, you are correct. What word goes with knowledgeable, highest rank, authority? If you said expert, you are correct. Which word means detector, feeler, device? If you said sensor, you are correct. Children, count on, in need, or rely. 
What word goes with that? Yeah, if you said depend, you are correct. Now, these are new vocabulary words. Special event that celebrates a particular kind of food, a season, art, or music. It's a festival. So it's a special event that celebrates these. So here's a musical festival. This is a food festival or any type of festival that people are gathering, celebrating something in particular. Beliefs or ways of doing things that is passed down from parents to children is a tradition. So here are different types of traditions. Dia de los Muertos is a tradition. Um, Chinese New Year, my family celebrates it um, traditionally. We give each other red envelopes. We eat a lot of food. Um, there's some traditional dances. So that means these are traditions. Ways of doing things that's been passed down from my grandma to my mom, from my mom to me, even from my great-great-grandparents, all the way down to me, okay? What word goes with sweet-baked goods made with dough? Pastry, yeah. So anything that's with, made with dough that's sweet, we consider those pastries. So do you recognize some of these pastries? Right? So they look really delicious. All right. Last time, I also asked you some questions so that you can use the vocabulary words in um, sentences. Today, I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Go ahead and answer these questions using our three vocabulary words. If you were in charge of planning a festival, what would it be for? What will you make sure to have at this event? Do you have a favorite family tradition? What is it? If you don't have a favorite tradition, what tradition would you like to start? What pastries have you tried? What pastries do you wish to try? Why? Right? So go ahead and get another, um, a separate sheet of paper, write your answers on there. Um, when I see you on Wednesday, you can share your answers with me. Uh, and make sure you answer this in complete sentences. I challenge you to use these words with your family. I challenge you to see how often you can use these words throughout the day, throughout the week. Okay? All right. Hope you learned something new. Hope to see you all soon. Goodbye. Good luck.